are in the Wallau Whitman National Forest working on a collaborative uh, white-headed woodpecker project with the Forest Service. We're studying them because they're an Oregon conservation strategy species in the Blue Mountain ecoregion. Specifically what we're targeting with this project is to look at different management treatments and we're doing a variety of different methodology to do that. First, we've got some intern crews who are doing ARU deployment, which ARUs are automated recording units. Um, and you can put those out in the field. They just look like tiny boxes and you put them out on trees and then they collect all of the audio uh, footage around them or noise, um, ambient noise, bird calls. And then what we're looking at is we can take that and download it and we're looking for uh, signatures. We'll analyze the sound wave data and be able to look for these signatures and um, know if there's white-headed woodpeckers in locations that we weren't aware of before. And we're also doing nest checks. So we'll take a peeper and we'll actually peep in the cavity to see how many nestlings there are to get also occupancy and get an idea on uh, survivorship and how many nestlings may fledge uh, once they reach that developmental stage. We have noticed that the cavities have been relatively low on a ponderosa pine snag. Usually they've been doing level two decay for nesting is what we've observed. And also we were able to capture and put transmitters on adults from those nest sites. With those, with the transmitters, we're using radio telemetry to um, create home range sizes. So what that looks like is you have a bird with a uh, telemetry backpack on it and our interns are going out with their receivers and trying to get points of them foraging. And, and this is, you know, a lot of hiking, a lot of going up and down ridges, uh, but great experience for the interns and also a great way for us to get data on home range, um, foraging home range sizes of white-headed woodpeckers, which uh, we can then analyze and look at different forest treatments and understand um, how different treatments might affect um, the day-to-day -day life of a white-headed woodpecker. So white-headed woodpeckers are a really excellent bird uh, to have an intern project with. Uh, that's because they have a very, they're very unique visually. They have a bright white head, which is very hard to mistake with any other woodpecker. Um, the males have a red dot on the back of their head. Um, and they also have a pretty distinct call. Also their hammering pattern is pretty distinct as well. Um, it's been really, really fun to be able to work with the interns and uh, it's pretty, pretty gratifying to be able to see and identify when you're new to the field. Also, we were able to, one of their first weeks, they were able to participate in capture. Um, so actually, you know, hold a white-headed woodpecker in your hand. The collaboration with the Forest Service has been really great. Um, they got a CFLRP grant to do this work and then reached out to us um, if we wanted to be collaborators and uh, help provide some seasonal staff to do this field work because it is very intensive field work. Um, lots of work involved with deploying the ARUs and picking them up so that we can collect that audio data as well as um, the telemetry work is very time intensive. I mean, as many times as you can getting out on the tagged birds and collecting location data is just extremely important.